we got a new setup. Hey now. Hi everyone. Welcome to Intaviena Books, a channel where I, Intavi, talk about all my books and all my bookish things. Today, I want to talk about all my bookish goals for the year. So these are my reading goals, my writing goals, and my goals for this channel. Um, I think I just decided this past week that I'm actually going to go all in. I am going to be here. I'm going to be doing this. Um, hence the new set up. I know there's a glare in my glasses, but I have bad eyesight. It's my father's fault. So if you have an issue with that, I think you should take it up with him. Um, so we're here. We're going to be talking about my goals for the year because you know what they say in audit. If it's not documented, it's not done. So I need to put it here so that I hold myself accountable. So let's get right into those books. The first book that I want to talk about is Disability Visibility by Alice Wong. This book, per my understanding, is an anthology of stories of disabled people living in the United States. It's a book that I've seen making the rounds and it's a book that I've wanted to read for quite some time. Um, so on the back of the book, it says, this anthology gives a glimpse into the rich complexity of the disabled experience, highlights the passions, talents, and everyday lives of this community. And I think it's, it's, it's stories that we really need to here and it's stories that I personally really want to read and get into and understand more of. I think sometimes I go off on the grain of assuming that I am inherently somebody who's caring and who who listens to other people's stories but you know that might not always be the case maybe sometimes I need to pick up a book and this one I've been seeing making the round so really excited to get into this one. The next book is Beauty of the Heart, The Life and Times of Charlotte Manya Maklake, which is written by Zubeda Jaffa. Jaffa? I think it's Jaffa. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Um, and this is a book about a South African woman. So Charlotte Manya Maklake was the first South African woman to go to university in the USA and get a university degree. She was a political activist, a religious activist. So a lot of her political activism actually started in the church which I think is quite interesting um she went on to fund the Bantu Women's League which turned which later progressed into becoming the ANC Women's League and I think there are very few stories about women like her that I've heard of or that I've read and I picked this one up last year my mom actually wanted this copy so I should probably get her her own copy I picked this up one last year and I'm really keen on reading it I started reading it last year but there was just so much moving and so much going on that I never quite got into it so really excited to actually get into this finish this this year and maybe have a book club with my mom where we just talk about it but yeah so the beauty of the heart the life and times of Charlotte Manya McQuake is my second non-fiction book the third book is 491 days by Winnie Matikizela Mandela um, this book has been on my radar for quite some time. Winnie Mandela was an anti-apartheid activist in South Africa and she passed away I think in 2019 and so this book is basically, this, this book is all her letters, all her journals that she wrote when she was in prison for 491 days. It starts off when security, when, when the, the, the apartheid government came into her house on the 12th of May 1969 and they took her away and she was in prison for that long. Um, so it's, it's a book that has been on my radar for quite some time, like I said, but I've never picked it up because when you grow up hearing stories like this and they are part of your everyday life, you know, for lack of a better term, you know, they always happen. You're always hearing about it. You sort of want to not read it at your leisure. Like, it's not something that I was like, oh, my God, I need to read this now, um, even though I felt that. But I, I just I, basically I was just never brave enough to pick this book up. And this year I'm actually picking it up and I have it. And this is my second copy. I've actually bought it before, tried reading it, but it was just too much and I gave it away. So here I am in 2021. This is this is the year of bravery. So I'm really excited to read her journals from that time. Um yeah, so uh, 491 days of book number three. Moving on to my fiction books. So my fiction books is very hard to keep the list short. Even though it wasn't that, it, I don't have that many books that I want to read this year. I'm not the sort of person who, who reads like 50 books in a year. I can't do that. Last year, I think I managed to read 42 books. And 
that that is my norm you know um my, my goal was to read 24 2 per month and i ended up reading 42 so i think i did pretty good and this year i my goal is 36 books and the only reason i increased it from 24 is because i want to read more graphic books and more picture books and i want to count them because i don't want to live in a world where those books aren't counted as books because they are books um so Fiction for me is a genre that I gravitate more towards. Um, uh, Nonfiction is, is a bit hard <laughs> because I feel like sometimes I just want to relax when I read. And nonfiction requires me to have my phone out and Google and make notes and la la la. Sometimes I just want to escape into a great story. So fiction does that for me. So I have a lot more fiction books that I really want to read in 2021. Keeping in mind that my reading goal is 36 books. So... Without any further delay, let's get into the fiction books. Book number one is Sula by Toni Morrison. So I have never read Sula. It's 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 one of those books that I think I found out about three years ago. I know Toni Morrison. I've read Toni Morrison, but I've never read Sula. And Sula, when I hear people talking about it, it sounds like it's a book about a non-conventional badass black woman who was doing her thing and I'm really excited to read that from Toni Morrison I think the books that I've read from her were just tears <laughs> and and, and I'd, I'd love to read something that I'm hoping is a bit more fun I like to go into books blind so I'm not actually sure what's in store for me except for the fact that Sula is a character that sounds like a badass and I love me a badass Book number two is Intruders by Mohale Mashihu. Mohale Mashihu is a South African author. She's the author of The Yearning, which won a whole lot of awards in South Africa and was a really good book. I, I really loved that book, but I really loved the ending. There are very few books where I'm like, oh, this ending. But I think The Yearning ended with somebody's feet in water. And I don't know why, but I thought that was incredible. It was a great book. I read it, loved it, gave it to my mom, borrowed it to my mom, who never brought it back. But this year, I really want to read Intruders. I feel like I'm cheating a little because I started reading this 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 week. But I, I really want to read Intruders because it's a, it's 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 mythical stories. And as somebody who's an aspiring writer, whenever I check publishers' websites, they always say that they don't want fantasy and they don't want mystery. They don't want mythical stories. So it's very interesting to to see a book published by a South African that actually has mystery and and the mythical. So I'm I'm really excited to read this one. Started reading it. Some stories are good. Um, so looking forward to reading this one in 2021 as well. The third book that I want to read. Is a chunky one. Um, so this is The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandra Dumas. I don't know a lot about this book except that I really want to read it. Um, I think the fact that it says the count means it's about a vampire or an accountant or a vampire accountant which is the crossover we all need. So excited, very excited. Um, I don't know much about this book. I honestly don't even want to pretend. I don't. I know anything. I haven't read the cover. I haven't read this. I haven't read the intro. So I know nothing about this book except that it is a book that I really, really, really want to read in 2021. I'm hoping to start getting into it in April because I think March is still going to be pretty busy at work. But once it'll, things settle down, I really want to get into this one. The fourth book that I want to read is Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. I have only read one of Octavia E. Butler's books, which is Parable of the Sower, which I loved. I am currently reading Parable of the Talents, which I'm loving, but I'm really taking my time with that one. So I, I'm really excited to read Kindred. I've heard a lot of good things about this book. I've heard that it's a book that really draws you in. I've heard that it's a book that requires a lot of your, of your attention and I love a book that requires my attention so I'm really excited about this one I was so excited to get it that I even got the graphic novel because I'm, I'm here for picture books this year so so I'm, I'm, I'm really really excited to, to read both of them because I, 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 I read both Parable of the Silver graphic novel and the actual book and it was it was a really good experience so I'm really really excited to read both of these 
The third category of books that I really want to read this year is my rereads for 2021. And first on that list is Beloved by Toni Morrison. I read this book when I was at university and I really enjoyed the book. I remember thinking it was dark, it was painful, and it was exactly what I needed. So I want to go into it to see what else I can get from this book this year. Last year I read The Bluest Eye again and it made me cry even though the first time I read that book I didn't cry but last year I actually cried so I'm really really excited to reread this book this year. The second book which I talked about in my video about my top favorite books of 2020 is Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. I read this book last year. I loved it. It was my favorite Baldwin that I read last year and I really want to reread this one highlighted make a notes just make this physical copy my own so I'm really excited to reread this one again the next book which isn't going to be a surprise if you watched my last video <laughs> is heavy by Kise Lemon. I will be rereading Heavy this year. I, I read it last year and I remember as soon as I finished it I really wanted to just be like okay page one let's go but I decided to let, us, to let it settle in me and find its place and, and now it's it's not even a year later but I really do want to reread this one I think I'm actually going to start rereading it this week because it, it was really a good book and I want to see what other gems I can uncover five months six months later after reading it so those are the books that I really want to read in 2021 there are some books that will be released this year that I'm really excited to 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 read as well but I, I I'm not I'm not rushing myself to a point where I need to read them this year I just know that they're coming out this year and I'm really excited about them whether I read them this year or next year or the year after that it will depend but but there, there are some some books that I'm really excited to, to read that are coming up now I wanted to talk about my writing goals for the year because I am an aspiring writer I shouldn't say aspiring, that takes something from me. I am a writer and I saw books from Bed just discuss some of her writing goals and I thought that I would do that here just to hold myself accountable. So I would really love to finish a short story anthology in 2021. I've written a lot of short stories over the years and I and I can't remember how many I finished, but I know that it wasn't enough. Well, by my standard, so it wasn't enough. And I think this year will be the year that I actually get that done and I actually produce something that is a complete body of work. I would also love to keep reviewing books on my blog. I'm finding that the more I push myself to review, the more I read books with a different type of lens. And that is a lens that I actually quite quite like you know I, I I'm not reading books just so I can say I read a book and I finished the book I'm reading a book to take something from the book so I I would really love to keep blogging about books keep reading about books if you have any interesting book blogs that you love and would like me to check out please let me know um I would really love to read more review more and write my reviews up more because there is something different that happens when I force myself to think about a book in that way and I really think that's an interesting part of my brain that I would really love to tap into. Okay now finally my channel goals. <laughs> so I started this channel on a whim. I, I was feeling myself that day. I was wearing these earrings. <laughs> I think for the first time since I got them and I was like oh they're so big um, so I seated myself that day and I started filming and I just want to keep doing it I'm, I'm enjoying the learning process I'm enjoying learning how to edit I'm enjoying it's actually quite funny because the first video I posted I had no idea that I could turn down the background noise <laughs> and I figured that out last week so I'm really excited. As you can see, I've, I've, I'm also upgrading my setup. Um, hence, you know, the, the rings in my glasses. Look, I've seen some people say people don't hate ring lights in your glasses, but I don't, I don't have a choice. I don't wear contacts. When I was a kid, my grandmother told me if I wore contacts, my eyes will fall out. 
and it's a fear that stayed because I believed her. Um, so I weighed losses. It is what it is. I'm getting distracted. My channel goals, I would love to post two videos per week because I'm really excited about learning how to edit and I think posting two videos a week will force me to learn how to edit at a quicker pace. I want to get more comfortable in front of the camera and I think posting two videos per week will allow me to do that. And as far as growth and numbers and everything else, I don't know. I think I'm enjoying this right now and I'm just going to run off that because there are very few times when I found myself really enjoying something. and. When I do find myself enjoying something, I don't want to be the kind of person who picks at it with a fine tooth comb and scrutinizes it. So I'm just really excited to be here, really excited to make content, really excited to be more creative. So those are my channel goals, just to be more creative, just to push two videos out every single week and and just see where my life goes from there. Um, so we'll see how that goes so those are my 2021 bookish goals thank you for subscribing thank you for commenting thank you for liking i will catch you in my next video on wednesday as always remember to be kinder than you think is necessary